Well, earlier I spoke to Sri Lanka's ambassador to the United Nations and asked him to explain his government's actions in investigating the war crimes. We have done a lot. We have done an enormous amount. And this has been acknowledged time and time again by UN visitors who had been to Sri Lanka. Uh, the UN UNICEF executive board visited Sri Lanka and issued a report which acknowledged the progress that has been made. The UNDP has acknowledged the progress that has been made. Uh, recently, a number of ambassadors from New York visited Sri Lanka and returned with a very positive uh, report on Sri Lanka's progress. And we are not saying that everything has been done. There's uh, much to be done, and we acknowledge that. But given our level of resources, we can't do everything at the same time. The impossible we will do today, but miracles take time. So how would you answer the criticism of human rights groups who say that Sri Lanka has a long history of promising justice but delivering impunity, uh, and Amnesty International who say that it's clear that the Sri Lankan government is unwilling and unable to investigate these events itself. So an, in, an international probe is the only way forward now. I, I wish they would specify these instances as where no action has been undertaken over a period of time. As I said before, the conflict ended in May 2009, and it's hardly four years since the end of the war. And in that period, we have established a domestic uh, mechanism to uh, go into some of the issues that have been raised, the lessons learned and reconciliation commission. Uh, the, since then, the military has appointed its own committee, a commission of inquiry, which has submitted its first report already. And it's only, I mean, some of these issues based on allegations can be definitely determined only after proper investigations have been conducted. Proper investigations, as you know from experience in other countries, including the United States, they take time.